Tyrant, Saucy, run back. Let's see if West Coast can adapt to these gimmicks. You know, West Coast always has a habit of losing the low tiers. Now, Tyro was, was the one that uh, knocked Mekos into losers. I did not get to see the first set, but I'm curious how both players decide to adapt to the situation. That was so controlled by Tyrant. He knew exactly where that dare was and was not going to hit. And he just turned around and grabbed the Lucas. But Mikos definitely wants this right now. He is, he's commanding and he has the mobility and he's baiting Tyrant out. Oh wow, nice grab read. You know when a tethered character dash grabs at you, he has the read. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you saw uh, uh, blocking. Oh, man. I don't know why Me there. Mekos was trying to go back in for some more pressure there, but he could have avoided that situation. Yeah, he could. Mix Lucas has the mobility to. Oh my God, beautiful read, but. Lucas has the mobility to not get narrowed out of shield there. Absolutely, I think, I think yeah. he just had, he thinks Tyron was conditioned. He can maybe go for something a little extra greedy. Uh, Tyron going for the desperation shuttle loop right there. Dash grab, down smash. There we go. Uh, I don't think Miko's going to get gimped too well, though. Lucas can always recover if he makes the right decisions. Oh, my goodness. Off stage again. Let's see if Tyron can make the read. Nope. And that was a very nice full hop to avoid uh, jumping into Tyrant, but Tyrant still maintains stage control, keeping the momentum. Wow, nice air dodge on stage, and Mikos uh, is looking pretty comfortable. Well, he was. Tyrant is making sure to stay close to Mikos at all times, not allowing him to set up any, any situations where he can take advantage or get the situation out of neutral, apply pressure oh to Tyrant. Oh, my God. <laughs> see, once you see, once Mikos gets started, Lucas is... Uh, very high reward character. His damage moves are the ones that lead into the kill setup. Kill setup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I think Mekos needs to watch out for glide attack. He did not respond or react too quick to it. As you can see, Tyrant's already fishing for it because he wants to come back. Hey, you see him fishing for the glide attack. He, Ty Tyrant's one of those players. If he sees something that you aren't reacting to or punishing him for, he will He's abuse gonna exploit it. Look at him. Look sure. at him. He's just going for it. Well, glide attack is safe on block. Yeah, well, Lucas is a type of character, so he can't do too much about it. And he also knows that he will not be able to get dared while gliding at Lucas. I expect to see Tyrant just kind of throwing glide attacks and not doing most of the time to test uh, Mikos' reaction. And if he can get away with it, he'll just keep going. Uh, but I see Tyrant getting really solid grabs. I just wish he could get more reward off of the throws off stage. Uh, even if he doesn't kill Mikos, he needs to be putting on more damage if he wants to take this game. Mekos is showing a lot of control right oh now. Uh, He's managing to evade almost all of Tyrant's approaches. Tyrant using a lot of blitz tactics to try and get in on him, but Mekos is not having any of it. He says, hey, look. Oh, wow, bait the air dodge. Of me. Is it a frame trap? If, uh, he gets under two yeah, yeah. frame trap, absolutely. Yeah. Just tacking on damage. If Mekos can just get one solid read, and that's uh, I'm a little stock. disappointed Mekos jumped into the air there. Yeah. I, I was expecting him to wait for Tyrant to come down, try and land an S-Smash or something like that. You know, I think he wanted the up-air kill. Yeah, he definitely did, but... He can't be greedy at this level of play, man. Yeah, exactly. Not, yeah. not unless you have the Gankai reads. Like. What, what he's doing is already so effective that I would not mix it up. Not at all. Uh, yeah. Tyrant, Tyrant right now has not figured out what to do. And oh, wow, nice Wow, fair. very, very nice. As you can fair. see, he just went in for the glide attack. Mekos has not punished him once for gliding. Uh, but at the same time, Mekos is not allowing himself to be pressured by that gliding. He is being very cautious of that grab. He has missed several punishes in the instance of not getting grabbed. Oh, wow. Nice after. How, okay. how do you think Mekos is going to get the kill? I don't see him getting another up smash read again. Uh, not unless Tyrant is very, very silly. So Honestly, about what percent is back throw kill? If I had to guess, I would say that Mekos is going to land a solid grab or Tyrant's going to DI that bad after a couple of hits. <laughs> but, but probably the grab. Oh, oh, wow. Beautiful up air out of shield. Wonderful mobility using Lucas's horizontal air mobility to catch Tyrant off guard. And that's the next box. Tyrant looking a little frustrated in the face right now. And we have some nice strings going on. Esam coaching. Uh... Mikos just playing super solid up air punish if he catches the landing again. Oh man. Tyrant with a great bait on the landing. Mekos was feeling himself a little too much out there when he got that hit by that Woo! second uh, when he threw that second up air he, he chased Tyrant a little bit high instead of keeping his 
controlled ground play. You know, I know that's something Ninja Link used to say a lot back in the day. How Lucas had a very, very solid ground game. He does. Yeah, he, he has. You know, Lucas. It's really silly. His frame data is pretty good, and he has solid like reward for landing a read as far as Absolutely. matches go. So he, he can he can do stuff, <laughs> which most no tiers cannot. <laughs> oh man, that was a horrible was situation. I hope Tyron was just waiting for the air dodge back on. Uh, he's he's just trying to see if he can get a gimp or maybe catch him a bad DI. Yeah. And Tyron goes, definitely will go for that shuttle if he doesn't want to deal with this. Oh man. man. Miko's choking up a little bit. Oh, oh nice. Wow. That is super close. That had to be the <laughs> pixel. Of oh, wow. Down smash. That damage is very valuable. Tyrant is approaching some of the lesser kill moves. A forward smash will end him. Oh, definitely. Lucas's F smash is super scary. It's disjointed as heck. <laughs> Tyrant going for the glide attack. Nope. Oh, he, Miko needs to just error. take his time. Uh, just wait for momentum to come. Now, Mekos is not using his down air game. I'm unsure why he's opted not to throw in the mix-ups now when it can reduce... Oh, wow, the grabbing him out of the air. That no, I'm, I don't know if I agree with that down smash. Down smash is not a move I'd want to steal right now. Oh, oh man, and the bad decision recovery wise, and that leads to a game by Tyrant. Yeah, he, he would have, he would have <laughs> had to move further backwards yep. so that he can get a potential angle to land on the stage without getting so easily punished. Salty run back. Game two. Still, that was a fantastic performance. I mean, shout out to Mekos. Look at him taking a Tyrant to last hit with Lucas. Definitely. And controlling, After taking the, match a set, and proving controlling that, the match. Proving that Lucas can do it even if the Meta Knight has time to adapt. Yeah, for sure. So, I noticed that Tyron is definitely taking a lot more advantage of uh, Mikos' landings as he was at the start of last game. Uh, he's starting to figure him out as a player. Tyron is super smart, and there are a lot of situations that Lucas really just has to back out of. Like, as you see, he couldn't punish him for that greedy glide attack. He just had to jump out of the situation. Yeah, Meta Knight has a lot of ridiculous pressure. Again, the Smashville pick. I question it because once you're forced onto that platform, Meta Knight can do all number of ridiculous things to you and you don't have a ground to escape to. Nice PK fire. Good down air. I hope, I hope he keeps using that down air mix up because Tyron has not really hurt him too bad. For, he doesn't really know what to do against it. Yeah, I definitely think that's why Mekos fell apart at the end of that first game is because he stopped using that down air mix up. Oh man, that very, was Very, very greedy air. read trying to get a spike on Tyrant there. I think that's really the problem with a lot of low tier mains is that they feel like they have to be greedy to win. But it's a lot of times it's just outplaying your opponent. You're never going to get mixed top players more than once. That was a horrible DI. That was that bad DI. I'm very surprised. He should have known it was Tyrant, coming. But. Yeah, Tyrant was obviously going to down smash him. I think Meta Knight can actually reverse down smash Lucas. I'm not 100% sure, but it, I don't know why he wouldn't do that. It's very easy to just turn around. but. Well, the difference in the hitbox is the first one hits on frame, the first hitbox hits on frame 5 and the second one hits on frame 10. Then if you account, uh, I believe it's two frames to turn around, turn around. it'll mean seven frames longer. But uh, but it's also it, safe. Yeah, no, for sure it's safe. But uh, I was going to say the advantage that you get from grab release, I believe is enough to punish with a frame 12. Not 100% sure though. Uh, I used to know, I can't remember right now though. And uh, Mikos needs to keep down air, and once again, Tyrant just fails to punish it. He, th he thought he could up beat through it, but the invincibility is only at the startup, so he got knocked out. A lot of people really don't realize or abuse the fact that Meta Knight Shuttle Loop is not invincible past the initial part. Yeah. How's Tyrant going to land this punish? A grab. Great way, if you ask me. Oh, man, missed the dash grab. Tyrant, he, I think he has this set because he has a very commanding lead. Uh, once again, Going for those glide attacks, Miko has yet to punish it. And he's going to catch uh, Miko's landing more and more often. I think he read the air dodge, but he doesn't want to go too hard because he wants to hold that stock. I hope Miko's gets this up air. Or down. Oh, no. Now, I'm very disappointed. I he really up smash. He up smash. Uh, up smash would have been great. There was a lot of options he had there <laughs> to score a kill. Up airing through uh, Lucas's uh, down smash. I don't even think Tyron knew that was going to happen, it was just the situation. 
Glide attack netting Tyrant once again a great reward for very low risk. I really like the way Tyrant is able to quickly read. Oh, this air release. Let me get this free fair off of it. Oh wow. Like he's out of the. Uh, well, uh, that was that was that was, was horrible. He got so greedy. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he's laughing. He knew it was greedy. <laughs> Uh, Tyrant trying to get a dash grab. I think he just wants to end this and you know if he gets too greedy Mikos will take it back as you can see he's tacking on some low percent strength And like I was saying earlier about Mekos, he does oh, not man, give up, but that up will take the set Tyrant 2 owes Mekos Knocks him into the That's out, that, that's that was out. Tyrant, tournament. Yeah, Tyrant knocked him into the loser bracket and yeah. then knocked him out of the tournament 